Hello, I've come on today to make a gorgeous bookmark. Um, so if you watched my previous video, <coughs> excuse me, um, that was my sister's birthday card where I used the gorgeous um, stamps. Um, and I've decided to make a bookmark because one of her presents is a book. It's this book here, just in case anybody was interested. So I'll just leave that there so you can pause and read it if you want to. Um, I thought obviously I'd use the gorgeous stuff so it kind of um, matched her card um, and I've also bought her some gorgeous socks which I will show you now so this is Crazy Ruby I believe um, <coughs> doesn't actually say but I'm sure that's what it is um, I tried to get her the stamp as well but um, I can't find it anywhere um, it was on Crane Craft but um, had a few issues with them and by the time I could get it it had sold out and that's the only place I've been able to find it so, uh, anyway so I've got those socks and that book and like I said I thought I'd make a bookmark I'm going to use some of the packaging um, <coughs> Santoro actually encouraged you to use the packaging uh, some of their labels on things say um, reuse and recycle and it is beautiful packaging um, so I've trimmed this bit down already um, now I wouldn't normally keep scraps this small of other things but from the gorgeous packaging I have kept all the scraps. Um, I've got a tub here that is full. That was actually off a bag, a gorgeous bag. Uh, yeah so this is full of little bits. It's not just the gorgeous, it's the other Santoro um, stamps and uh, a theme I can't remember what it is but not the gorgeous girls they do other ones so there's that and also I've got this folder full of papers that I've got left so they are in there and um, there's again bits of packaging that's from the paper pad I have already got a decoupage piece made up um, there's a little notepad and there's just all sorts. There is really tiny scraps in here as well. There's ribbon and this is the label I was talking about. So it actually says reuse and recycle. Gorgeous little things. Um, and I want to make a journal. I have said that before and hopefully I'll actually get around to it. I've got some other projects on the go which I really want to finish before I start anything new. Um, I've even kept the top which might seem a bit odd because you've obviously got this hole but I actually thought it would make quite a cool tab on a journal page so yeah just an idea um, I've cut this bit down now my book is or the book I should say I obviously don't want all of that so I want this to be sort of normal bookmark size but what I think I'm going to do is cut it in half because obviously I don't want this on the back side um, and I'm going to try and run it through the embossing folder um, I just need to be aware of the sort of positioning of that um, this is just a free um, embossing folder and stamp set and a few dies that I got with a magazine this is obviously the sort of bookish um, Santoro Gorgeous Girl New Heights but that might be a bit too big because if I'm going to fold this in half there's every chance she won't I mean she doesn't fully fit on there but that's fine I don't need to have um, as long as I don't cut her head off that's the <laughs> most important thing but I have got my folder <coughs> of gorgeous girls now I don't know if there is a book one in here or the same oh there we go it's right at the beginning actually sorry about the light there um yeah so we have got this tiny one so that would obviously fit on there but I could put other stuff on with it um still got the little card there um yeah so I've got quite a few of these mini gorgeous girls um, if anyone wants a proper flip through then just leave a um, a comment but yeah I have got quite a few but I haven't got the entire collection yet <laughs> but I am 
Yeah, I absolutely just adore them. <clears throat> so I think what I'll do is I will probably um, just cut this down first and then, like I say, make it so the front and back are the same. Um, might run it through the um, embossing folder first before I do that. But um, I'll get a little way into it and then I'll share what I've done. First of all, I've cut this down and I'm amazed because <laughs> I've actually done it right. <laughs> I measured it and it's actually perfect. So, I mean, I know it should be because I obviously did it in half. I, uh, I <laughs> measured it and then cut down that line and it's worked. I'm hopeless at measuring. My maths is diabolical. Um, so, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm just, I'm shocked. <laughs> But um, I've run it through the embossing folder and one thing to say is I've got the Crafters Companion cut and boss, um, the old one, it's, I think it's probably the first one they brought out but anyway yeah it's one of the older ones and um, my plates got stuck halfway through. I had no idea how to get them out because I turned it off, turned it on again because, you know, I thought that's bound to solve it and um, it didn't but Hubby came down he said there must be a manual override pressed the button in and held it for a few seconds and it spits it out I did not know this um, it was probably, when it was sold it was probably pointed out <laughs> but, um, yeah, I didn't know that so I thought I'd share that just in case anyone else has got the cut and bus and um, they have the same thing happen anyway I have, like I said, cut this in half. Um, I've embossed that side. Now, this does look too big. However, I think the other one might be too small. So, let's get her out of here. So, that's just going to look out of proportion, I think, because of the... Um, helps if I bring it on screen. <laughs> Um, yeah, because of the the size of those shelves, I don't know, it looks a bit weird. Um, she doesn't quite fit on there, which I did know, but at least we're not cutting off her hands or anything. But she will hide most of the books, probably. Um it might not be too bad. We can see some of the books up there and some here. And I am hoping that I can sand these back gently and there'll be a white core to this. So they'll stand out a little bit more. So anyway, I'm going to try that. Um, it's only packaging, so what's the worst that can happen? Uh, I'm probably going to cut some of the die cut pieces as well. Um, obviously I don't want to make it too bulky because it is for a book and um, probably the cat my sister actually has two cats that look nothing like that um, and uh, yeah but the weird thing I think because I've used this before and I think that these stamps don't fit with those dies so the dies don't die cut the um, yeah they don't die cut the stamps but so just yeah I think that's a little bit bizarre but like I say it was only a freebie with the magazine so anyway I'm going to see what I want to do whether I but I do really think that's too small but then I don't suppose she has to be the same size as the shelves but does it look a bit odd mm, I can't decide I might have to stamp both of them out cut them out and then go from there because I also want to add a ribbon um, which is going to be possibly trickier with the big one but as I can always put it through there where the books are which won't be a problem because I want to laminate it as well um, which might squish my embossing a bit but we'll see um, anyway I think I'll stamp these out then cut them out and see which size is going to work best I did think about embossing them, but um, if it's going to go through the um, laminator, I'm not sure whether I should do that because the heat will probably just melt the um, 
embossing powder again I assume I don't know anyway I'm not going to do that I don't need to um, do that this ink will work with um, watercolor markers and if I heat set it it will be fine with the um, alcohol markers because alcohol markers can sometimes drag it and leave black marks because you should really use a different ink but I have found that heat setting it normally works and um, as I mentioned when I made the card if you use these thick rubber stamps and you use the press to impress I'm not sure about other boards but you need to take the foam out because it's too fat otherwise like I said I did mention that when I made the card so I'm just repeating myself if you've seen both those um, if you've watched that video and this one i um, going to cut these out now and size them up against my bookmark and um, see which one I prefer right this is what I've done since the last time um, <coughs> So I've embossed it and gone over it with the um, with the nail file. So it just brings out a few highlights. I've also die cut some of the books and stuck those on. In fact, there was already there were already a few done. So I just used those. I've coloured in my gorgeous girl. Um, I've got a white piece of paper ish. <laughs> That's a bit better. Um, yes, yeah, so I've coloured her in with my Copics. Um, I've already made the holes for... I'm going to use a tassel, I think, rather than a ribbon because I haven't got a ribbon that I like that's going to go through that hole. Um, yeah, so because I've already hole punched it. <coughs> and I thought what would be nice on the back, just to finish it off is to use a couple of the stamps from the stamp set so i'm going to use just one more chapter and um the open book so like i said i'm going to do that on the back so i thought i'd pop that up there and this here and i think I'm going to need to do that in archival because otherwise it's probably going to smudge. You all have spotted by now that I went with the big um, image and that's basically because the little image was going to be so fiddly to cut it out. So I think I've left that big enough for an ATC, I hope so. So I'm going to turn that into an ATC. Um, Yep, so I've stamped that. It's quite perfect. I didn't use the archival. I meant stays on because um, it's for plastic and this has got sort of a plasticky coat into it. So I'm probably just going to run a heat gun over it quickly just to make sure that it's set. And then I need to pick out... <coughs> Actually, I can do that now. I'll leave that to dry a bit. My... Um, tassel. Now I think I was going to go with this colour because I thought that would work quite well with uh, sort of an orangey colour. I think it looks slightly different on the camera but yeah it's a sort of an orangey. So I thought that would work well. It's laminated and I've added the tassel. I've left the plastic wrapping on it to keep it neat because it needs to go into the post um, but yeah it's all done thank you so much for watching please leave me a thumbs up and a comment and until next time cheerio mm -hmm.